Um, you know, through the year as a school board member, you definitely have to make some difficult choices, and this is one of the more difficult choices. And uh, we have two excellent candidates. Um, I think there was a comment made earlier that timing is everything, and I do believe that to be the case in this particular instance. We just launched a brand new budget process. We just started it. We've turned the entire budget on its head. And yes, we are focusing on the numbers more often now than I think we have in the, in the past, particularly in a new format. We also just recently lost two relatively tenacious people, and that would be Gretchen and Dr. Browder. And there, it, it's one thing to be, um, you know, to sit and, and, and I don't know how to put this well. Sometimes you need to be persistent, and sometimes you need to be, um, uh, I guess the word is tenacious, because that is how sometimes you get things done, so you don't beat something to death and process it over and over and over and over again. This district has a tendency sometimes to do that. We also have the union environment is changing. We just saw that with the city. And we are in negotiations with the AEA right now. And as far as I know, our very first um, in January, the, that were publicly um, reported on the website there, our two proposals were very far apart. So there is going to be some negotiation going on. I'm sure there is now, and there will continue to be. And we have eight unions that we're negotiating with. And we are in a budget free fall right now. All of those aspects right now lead me to support Tom Corcoran because of his CPA experience and his budget experience at this time, as well as uh, the negotiation that you had with VICO and selling VICO to CH2M Hill, as well as your negotiations that you have on a regular basis, I believe, with um, you said the, the planned labor organizations, that, I, I don't know what they're called, PLOs, PLUs or something. Uh, those are those are city union negotiation processes. I, I think that both again are excellent candidates, but j because of the new budget process, because of the union environment, and because of our revenue changes, someone with just a, a little bit, a slightly advantage, having the financial background and the business operational background. I just think for right now. For April of, or all of 2013, um, I, I think that that would be that would serve the district to keep that ball rolling, and it's uphill right now. Um, so thank you.